the violinist at the window, 1918, after Matisse. Here he is again, so thin, unbent, one would say captive. Did winter ever leave? No one has climbed the hill north of town in longer than one can remember. Something hasn't been fully loaded. Life is blameless. He is a stem. And what here is cyclic? We would so need to know about now. And if there is a top to this, a summit, the highest note, a destination, here he is now, again, standing at the window, ready to look out if asked to by his time, ready to take up again if he must, here where the war to end all wars has come to an end for a while, to take up whatever it is the spirit must take up. And what is the melody of that? the sustained one note of obligatory hope, taken in like a virus before the body grows accustomed to it and it becomes natural again. Yes, breathe it in, the interlude, the killing, the lull in the killing, up, the heart is asked to go, up, Open these heavy shutters now. The hidden order of a belief system trickles to the fore. It insists you draw closer to the railing, lean out. Time, time stands out there as if mature, blooming, big as day. And is this not an emaciated sky? And how thin is this sensation of time? Do you not feel it, the no in the heart? No, do not make me believe again. Too much has died. Do not make me open this all up again. Crouching in shadow, my head totally empty. You can see the whole sky pass through this head of mine. The mind is hatched and scored by clouds and weather. What is weather? When it's all gone, we'll buy more. Heaven conserve us is the song and lakes full of leaping fish, and ages that shall not end, dew-drenched, sun-drenched, priceless, leave us alone, loose and undone, everything and nothing slipping through. No, I cannot be reached, I cannot be duped again, says my head standing now in the opened-up window while history starts up again, and is that flute music in the distance? Is that an answering machine, call and response? And is that ringing in my ears, the furrows of earth full of men and their parts, and blood as it sinks into loam, into the page of statistics, and the streets out there, shall we really be made to lay them out again? and my plagiarized humanity, whom shall I now imitate to re-become before the next catastrophe? The law of falling bodies applies, but we shall not use it. The law of lateness, even our loved ones know, don't know if we're living. I'm going to read um, a few poems from an In Progress, a collection entitled Chameleon Couch. A fish pretending to be a rock. The mouth is where the eyes are supposed to be. And the eyes are the question opening a mouth. And the answer turns water red. The fish is a hunk, a broken off reef, parious as doubt something for love of self to sink into unmoving, asleep inside a dream of stone at the bottom of chance, the little gears working down there in the watery dark or its only belief system. The rock pretends it is a fish ascending, effortlessly up 
through a blue effusion into a weightless world, back into the mouth of the question, conjuring a human theory, disguised by what it is and isn't, a twin of its reflection, this creature is its own God. Ode to the Chameleon, little shape-shifter lingering there on your twig of indifference. You are a glimpse of a rainbow, an eye, your eyes an eye odor of amber. If nature is mind, it knows you are always true daring the human eye to see deeper your envy approaching green, no more than an eye blank in the corner of the old world. You are a tilt of the head and vantage point. Neither this nor that clearly prehistoric and futuristic, and then you are gone in your little theater of osmosis, you are almost a piece of tropical work woven from the alchemist's skin habit, called into the hanging garden. You sit there, almost unseen, as dusty shadows clam the blooming Judas tree. Surrender. No, not again. I have to call Sun House, Mount Rainey, Lead Belly, Robert Johnson's Hell Hounds to remind me of hairpin torrents in the false labyrinth. The twelve doors of consolation has been flung wide open before a thorny field of blood red blooms. Somebody, some naked Ishtar of fusion and war. Please tell me, I'm addle headed as Caliban's sleepwalking apprentice. Let me listen to Bud's B flat blues to see if the day can win back itself, to see if I can endure this shank in the breastplate, if this black clock still knows anything about the busted old knuckles of love and desire, the brain's manifold mutates till good is soaked with shit and blood, born with a claw in its mouth. I have stood up for the beautiful hours of unreason and heartache, but it was an old Sam Cook tune, darling, you send me, that wedded me to perchance. Now I am on my stupid knees before the love rumpled bed, begging a wing-footed goddess to untie my hands and enter a simple plea on my behalf. <laughs> 